Good morning. And yogurt and Aurelius are out this morning. It's, uh, I don't know, about 6.30, June 23rd. And this year is so much different than last year. Oh, hey, good morning. Um, no corona restrictions here. And we've got less time in the garden. And so in the morning when I try to get out, I try to make the most of my morning garden time. And so here is just a quick tour of June 23rd, 2021 garden. So this is the left part of the garden and we've got the um, morning glories trying to climb the hammock stand. They're doing really well. Uh, those things are um, crazy. I actually planted a few this year, which I learned I'll probably not ever do. They're just gonna come up. I mean, the, the seeds have spread. They're here, um, they're over here. You know, they're, they're, they're everywhere. So you can see how long this one's even getting. I'm gonna cut the grass. Uh, so it's, they're crazy. So they're really, they're really invasive. So, um, yeah, so we're trying to grow ivy up here. And we've got one on over here. That we've that we've got going i've got a couple uh, four more in the house that i'd like to get going i'm training these up here and then i'm going to get some of this jute twine to go across the top of these uh, beams to give it some shade so it'll be it'll be august probably before that's all shaded up we've got jute twine on either side of each pole so there's four of those so as they go up i'll i'll do i don't know probably four or maybe even six on the top to make a good good canopy give us some good shade so here is here are the beds from this angle over here and we've got growing up this trellis here is mayflower beans they're really slow we've got we've got some that are reached um i don't know how tall that is maybe seven foot tall maybe something like that so they're, they're starting to go. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they, how they do and how, many it, how much it produces for the season um, in order for me to do it again next year. So that's totally an experiment. I do have a few tomato volunteers coming up. I've got one right here. Uh, and it's just too soon to tell what it is. So, and I don't know if it'll make it, it might get choked out. And then I've got one right here. This looks some, some kind of a grape or cherry or something so far. You can see the fruit on it. I mean, it looks almost like a, like a grape, but we'll see. I tied that off um, a few days ago to give it some structure. So as it goes, I'll keep, keep tying it to the, to the trellis there. I did a whole bunch of peppers by seed this year. And here's some extra bell peppers, I believe. Um, I didn't label things as well as I hoped to, mainly because once the coronavirus pandemic um, restrictions lifted, I I was really working, um, so I just I just forgot or didn't get to. So I'm thinking these are wonder. So there's six right here. I still got a stake, four of them up, and I've got to tie those two off that I have staked. Next is um, Kentucky Wonder Bush Beans. So that's the new crop. And then the other one back there is the first crop I, I put in. I had to plant these several times. We had some kind of slug or something early getting in and just destroying and decimating the beans. In fact, those Mayflowers, I planted them about four times. They just kept, they kept hitting them. And uh, I, kept, I just kept planting them, kept planting the skips. So I'm sure I'll have some beans here pretty soon. So here's another tomato volunteer coming up that I need to get somewhere. Uh, maybe just let it go. Um, here's my tomato plants right here. I've got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got eleven right here uh, of different varieties right here. And then the cucumbers. I had a hard time with those two this year. 
I finally found a package. I think these are bush and I designed the trellis for vining. And so uh, I may need to get rid of those. Uh, we'll see how they, or to get rid of that trellis to see how that goes. I'm not sure yet. It won't be much to get rid of that trellis if I need to, but I might just need some separation between the, the two. Uh, it's not a lot of room at all. So that'll be a decent experiment to see what happens with, with that. This was my spinach and lettuce area here. So I've replaced it with some Praxis cherry tomatoes. So there's three there. And there's two um, decorative pumpkins that we got from Audrey Cornell. And then there's two Rutgers that are kind of spindly. So I'm not sure if they'll make it or not. And then I've got three zucchinis that are starting to come on and a sage. And that thing is doing really well. I'm really I'm really happy with it. So I'm excited to get some good fresh sage. There's a small Italian basil plant right there. And then just a couple of volunteer, uh, I think. What did I have here last year? Some kind of bean. It wasn't the greasy, it was preacher beans, the rattlesnakes. So yeah, everything looks really healthy. There's not a lot of fruit on these tomatoes just yet. There's um, one there. There's another over there. Uh, there's The plants are really healthy, but there's not a lot of fruit. There's some there. And there's some in that in that back one right there. Um, but yeah, they're they're slowly coming on. So, but they're they're super healthy. No problems with pests or anything. The Strawberries did amazing this year. Um, I'm planning on them taking over the whole whole bed, and they are. They're they're shooting right on. I probably started the year right here, uh, so it had that much, and it's it's went. So it'll take the whole bed. I had spinach and kale, and some kind of the leafy green right in here, but it'll be it'll be strawberries completely for next year which is what I was planning on and this last bed here we've got um, all of these are peppers we've got um, I think a serrano a few serranos temp tempacuro uh, and these two rows so two rows of hot and then I've got uh, this one this one and this one of wonder and then this one I believe is Pepperoncini, I think, and then pepperoncini and jalapeno. So the jalapenos aren't coming on hardly at all, so I might not have any of those. And I've got cilantro going right here. I just picked it. So I just keep I just keep replanting and going and it's producing quite a bit and we've got a excuse me, a few that have bolted right there. And then of course we've got um, some spearmint peppermint some more sage and then we've got more tomatoes here this mixed in with some regular kentucky heirloom varieties and um, chocolate cherry uh, there's a couple praxis right here these they look really strong right there they're gonna come really nice they don't they don't get super big uh, the chocolate cherry grape i'm excited for grape we're gonna freeze those and use them um, in the winter time and then we've got our Greasy beans, they're going up, up, up. They could they could have went higher. I mean, I could have went, I don't know how high I could go with those, but they're, we really enjoyed them last year. They they put on a whole lot and uh, they did they did really, really well. So we're really excited for those. Let's walk to the back here. see what we got in the back. So I got two new blueberries from dad. Right here you can see the crushed eggshells that I put with some compost and then I've got another one right here so I'm hoping that they they make it. I've been watering them real regular. Um, so I've got the one plant right here and then this one, this one, and then those four right there the last three are doing really well uh, coming on strong they've got fruit on them and uh, 
but they're not not ready to pick yet not just yet we get some they're turning turning a little bit and then this one looks really good this has a quite a few berries on it so I'm interested to see how it does over the over the next few years went ahead and threw some tomatoes out here because I had them so there's uh, one two three four five five tomatoes right here and uh, I'm not sure what they are Let's see this last one is no brother I don't know let's see if I can see it Kentucky cabin is this one I'm not sure what this is uh, this one kind of looks like Praxis, but I, I can't remember. This one's a Rutgers, and that one's a Rutgers. So we might we might learn what those two middle ones are. There's a another I made it here because I had it. Another sage, just because I wanted to experiment with a few spots of sage. There's one over here by a, I got a little flag there, but it's not doing near as good. So far, the ones in the garden with the soil is really good at doing the best. Now here is the sweet potatoes experiment that I have with the old straw that I got from my neighbor is out by the street. And he used it for a, I don't know, Halloween decoration or whatever. And so I just kind of let it sit all winter, broke it up, threw some soil in it. Um, I probably should have put some fertilizer and whatnot in there, but I didn't. Um, so it didn't really cost me anything to, to get the sweet potatoes. The, uh, slips I, I did them myself and and so you know just a fun experiment we'll see see what happens of course there's tomatoes that are trying to grow every everything I do there's always little tomatoes popping popping through so I'll uh, as they get bigger I'll weed them through here is a um, well I'm not sure what this is I think a butternut squash I think there's a little something fruiting back there I think this is butternut so I'm gonna kind of train it maybe on around or you know on around by the fence or something like that and then the compost bin the, the big compost bin that I have of course I got some bucket in there I gotta get rid of but it was probably up this high um, when la last year and now it's down to there so I'm gonna try to keep doing that year after year and then um, empty it out in the late summer or fall and then put in new and um, see how it see how it does my neighbor was super gracious to give me all his bagged up leaves that he he grabbed so I'll try to do that again next year so there it is the June 23rd garden update